Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for our third installment in our GovCon video vlog series covering export control rules. Now the rules that we're talking about are under ITAR and EAR, and these rules restrict the export of controlled items without prior approval or a license. Now we've mentioned before that we're going to frame our discussions of ITAR and EAR around these four key areas, restrictions, exports, controlled items, and prior approval or licenses. Now we started first with ITAR, and in our last two vlogs we talked about controlled items and exports under ITAR. Now when we talk about export controls or controlled items, it's really the restrictions under ITAR that control or place limits over the export of the items. So today, we're going to briefly talk about three things that contractors should know about the export restrictions under ITAR. So one thing the contractor should know is that ITAR generally restricts the export of a defense article or a technical data without a DDTC license. Now under ITAR, it's unlawful for anyone to export or attempt to export a defense article or a technical data without first obtaining a required license. So when is the license required? Well, nearly always for most contractors. Now there are exemptions under ITAR to the licensing requirement, and we'll talk about the exemptions in an upcoming vlog. But the exemptions under ITAR are very discreet and apply in unique and particular situations. So for the most part, if a company has its hands on a defense article or technical data, in other words, if it has its hands on an item on the U.S. munitions list or information related to something on the U.S. munitions list, and if the company wants to export that item or information, then the company will most likely need a license. Now we'll talk more about licenses in an upcoming vlog, but for now, we'll just mention that the entity that grants the export licenses is an arm of the U.S. Department of State called the Directorate of Defense Trade Controls, or DDTC. The second thing the contractor should know is that ITAR generally restricts the furnishing of a defense service without a DDTC approved technical assistance agreement. Now we talked about defense services in our vlog on controlled items, and by definition, a defense service involves providing to a foreign person assistance that's related to either a defense article, controlled technical data, or military training. And just like with defense articles, it's unlawful un under ITAR for someone to furnish or attempt to furnish a defense service without first obtaining written approval from DDTC. And there are very few exemptions from the rule requiring prior approval. But unlike defense articles, where prior approval by DTTC is granted through a license, with defense services, prior approval is granted through approval by DTTC of an agreement that's called a technical assistance agreement. So how this works is that under ITAR, a company submits to DTTC a proposed technical assistance agreement that the company intends to enter into with the foreign person and the proposed technical assistance agreement then must be approved by DTTC before a company can provide a defense service. So the third thing the contractors should know is that for some countries, the restrictions under ITAR include a total or near total ban on exports. Now, while the two restrictions that we just went over generally require a license, or an approved agreement before the export of a defense article or defense service, there are some countries that are subject to even tighter export restrictions. Now the ITAR regulations under section 126.1 in fact list eight countries that are subject to a U.S. policy denying export of a defense article and defense service. So for those countries, it's not possible to obtain an export license or an approved TAA. And the eight countries we're talking about include Belarus, Burma, China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Syria, and Venezuela. Now the ITAR regulations under 126.1 also list an additional 13 countries that are also subject to a near complete ban on exports of a defense article and defense service. 
Now, for each of these countries, the regulation lists narrowly tailored exceptions in which licenses or approvals may be issued. And the countries on that list include Afghanistan, Iraq, and Haiti. Now, we mentioned a minute ago that there are general exemptions to the licensing requirement and prior approval requirements under ITAR. And again, we'll talk about exemptions in an upcoming vlog. But with regard to the 21 countries listed in ITAR section 126.1, the exemptions under ITAR mostly do not apply, except for exemptions that permit the export of a defense article or defense service to or for the U.S. military, the U.S. government, the Department of Defense Foreign Military Sales, or that are permitted by the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. So to sum up, the three things that contractors should know about restrictions under ITAR are 1. ITAR generally restricts the export of a defense article or technical data without a DTTC license. Number 2. ITAR generally restricts the furnishing of a defense service without a DTTC approved technical assistance agreement. And number three, for some countries, the restrictions under ITAR include a total or near total ban on exports. Well, that's all for today's vlog. We hope you come back for our next installment in our export control series. And thanks again for joining us for this episode of the GovCom video blog.